bass grooves can either make or break your track, but they always seem so complex to create, right? No, they don't need to be. In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple method called bass stacking to create bass grooves that sound complex, but are really simple to create. So let's dive into the video. Let's say you have a house groove that sounds like this. You have the chord drums, a shaker, some texture sounds in the background, some melodic atmospheres, but where's the bass? Well, the first thing we can start off with is create a tom groove. We can always start off with toms. So for this, I'd like to create a MIDI track right underneath this chord drums groove. So, so we're going to go into drums, one shots, toms. This one's nice and short. I'm gonna create a MIDI clip and create my tom groove. So I'm gonna play the chord drums together with the tom. Play that together with our atmosphere to make sure we're in the right key. Cool, so C is right. Now I'm gonna create some rhythmic variation to the toms by going into 16th mode, right? 16th here. Awesome, so that's our first phrase. We're gonna duplicate this to our second phrase. Awesome, there we go. That's our first little bass groove that we have going on now by just adding in some toms. So now that we have our tom groove ready, we can always experiment with new types of sounds. So I can always switch out the tom groove for another sound. And go into controls, correct the pitch. So it already sounds somewhat like a bass groove. And now we can get into the interesting part, the bass stacking. So what we're gonna do is create a bass MIDI track right underneath the tom. So hey, Control shift T and we're gonna move this out of the drums track, and make it red, call this one bass. And we're actually gonna use an Ableton stock synth for this called analog. There is this preset called saw three pure muted bass. We're gonna load that into bass and we're gonna create a MIDI clip. So highlight this section over here, control shift M, MIDI clip is created. And now we're gonna select the bass channel, hit shift and also select the toms channel. Once we've selected both of these channels, we're going to hit shift and tab and then we're in this editing panel. So we can start editing our bass while seeing the tom notes. So what we're going to do is hit right click, go into 16th and start drawing in a bass note. Okay, so that's a bit high. Let's pitch it down an octave. So shift arrow down. You can always switch between both clips up here, but we're going to stick with the bass line. Whenever the tom isn't playing, we're going to draw some bass lines in or some bass notes. Matter of fact, I want it even deeper. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. So remember, I'm just paying attention to whenever these toms aren't playing. I want to have some type of bass note in between. Keep it really simple at this point. Maybe add one here. Maybe a bit later. Okay, really simple, gonna keep it that way. Now I'm gonna take this little bass section and duplicate that towards the end. And I'm gonna start messing around with the sound, maybe reduce the frequency a bit, the resonance. So that we have a really soft sound. And it doesn't need to be more complex than this. And now we're gonna duplicate the bass channel and we're gonna switch the sound. Let's actually use Diva for this. And I have a few presets that I've also uploaded to Patreon. This one is called Bass Simple Sub Pluck. I use it in almost every track of mine. It's also similar to the first one. It's just a saw wave pluck. Let's call this one Bass 2. This one's gonna be Bass 1. This is Tom's. Let's give this a different color. We're gonna hit Shift, select all three of these grooves, and then Shift Tab. So we can edit all of these individual little layers here separately from each other, but we still get to see the notes that aren't playing. So this is what I would consider bass stacking. Now we're gonna edit the bass two sound. So we can see the different notes and we're just gonna fill the spaces in between. And you can see wherever our other notes are playing, we're just gonna remove these notes over here. 
maybe add in a different harmony here. Maybe like this. It sounds kind of cool. Just messing around with a few different notes. And now we can take all these and pitch them down an octave, perhaps. Take these, pitch them up. I kind of like it. So we're going to take this groove here, duplicate that towards the end. And we have ourselves a groove that sounds even more complex using just single notes and filling out the space in between every little note. So whenever there's not a bass playing in this layer, this layer might be filling it out or the tom layer. Awesome. And now we have our two main bass grooves. So we're going to group these together, call these bass grooves. And to make it even more interesting, we can start adding arpeggios or arpeggiated bass notes in between these bass groups to fill out the space even more. So what I'm going to do is create a MIDI track here and take the bass simple pluck and add it down here. And now what we're going to do is add in a single note playing our root note. So this is C, right? Now we're going to legato that, maybe pitch it up an octave, duplicate that towards the end and add an arpeggio. So we're going to go into MIDI effects, arpeggiator and add it in like this. So we're going to put it on 16. Now it sounds like this. Kind of cool, but a bit messy in the low end. So what we're going to do is add in an EQ, low cut that EQ and add in some effects. So we get some more movement on the left and right. So I'm going to go into echo, add an echo in here. And now we can mess around with the rate of the sound, the rate in the gate, rate in the gate. crazy stuff with this. So since we have the bass grooves ready now, we can focus on the other elements of the track, maybe arranging the track even further or adding some type of ear candy to the background. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. If you did, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button and grab these sounds using the links down below. See you in the next one. Peace.